fourth position, the 29 of Doug Wolfgang. Here they come, everyone on their feet, waving as the World of Outlaws get ready to go in this, the shootout of 1985. The starting lineup. The track. The cars exit the fourth turn. The green flag is out. The World of Outlaws feature is underway. Keith Kaufman moves into the lead in the Al Hamilton number 77. Doug Wolfgang following Kaufman along the outside. Brad Doty and Wolfgang battling for second as they move down the back stretch. Wolfgang and slides back just a little bit. Ducks to the inside of Doty. Wolfgang coming fast, working perfectly on the bottom of the racetrack. PA Posse car up front. Keith Kaufman, your leader. Wolfgang with the inside move takes over second. It is Doty third. And the top three cars, Bruce, two of them Pennsylvania Posse drivers. Can they break that 6 6 tie that's been going on since 1978? It's the tiebreaker here tonight. Greg, here comes the king of the outlaws. Steve Kinzer has just moved into third place and will try and reel in Kaufman and Wolfgang. But right now it is Keith Kaufman, your race leader. Greg, we've got a crash in turn two. We've got a car in the fence in turn two. One of the cars involved is Ty Scott. We've got a car facing the wrong way in turn two. The yellow flag is out. Green flag is out. Let's see how much those pit crews were able to accomplish during that fuel stop. Kaufman streaks into the lead. Wolfgang and Kinzer close behind. Wolfgang dives low through the turn. Wolfgang and Kaufman side by side down the back stretch. Let's see who it's going to be as they go into the third turn. Sammy Swindell has moved into fifth while these two battle for the lead. And there a little jump by Kaufman's car, but he holds off Wolfgang. Wolfgang setting him up for that low move here. Great, you can't turn. There it is. Oh, it's side by side off the turn, Bruce. A drag race down the back stretch. Craig, you can't see any better sprint car racing than this anywhere in the United States. We've got Jeff Swindell slowing to a stop again on the front stretch. Let's see if we're going to get a caution flag. There is the caution flag. Jeff Swindell again has slowed to a stop on the front stretch. Friday looking for cushion nearly into the fence, controls the car. Two laps to go. Wolfgang not too far behind. Kaufman very loose coming off the turn. And Bruce, that's the second time Keith has used that extremely high groove in turn four. Let's watch him here. Greg, they approach lap traffic. Stevie Smith Jr. and Paul Latier. Kaufman's got to get by. Here we go. The white flag is out. Kaufman, comfortable lead now as he ducks to the low groove and slides by Lotier and Stevie Smith Jr. Uh, I think that's going to do it for him, Greg. A big move, an unbelievable move with two slow cars in front of him. He can waltz it home from here. No trouble ahead of him. Everyone's on their feet. Bruce, call the winner. Coming to the checkered flag, Keith Kaufman as the Pennsylvania Posse sweeps the world of outlaws. Doug Wolfgang finishes second. Sammy Swindell third, Brad Doty fourth, and Steve Kinzer fifth. And the fans on their feet, Bruce, it's the big one. Bam. Keith Kaufman, we've been in victory lane at Williams Grove Speedway with you many times before. But this wasn't just another race, Keith. This was the world of outlaws. How does it feel? Well, it feels pretty good uh, when you can beat them on your home track and you, and you beat the best guys in the country. It feels real good. Keith, you gave us a scare with about two laps to go. You got awfully close to that fourth turn guardrail. What happened down there? Well, there was kind of a little hole down there, and I've been going on one side of the other and the other side of it, and one time I just bumped it a little bit. I was just trying real hard, and I wasn't that close. 